We are not sending this to him for Oh, of course not. This is solely for me because Dr. Mason said I needed to have something to remind myself in case he comes back. You know that he will, Lucy. Yeah, yeah, probably he will. Um, you are a really good friend. Whenever you're ready. Ah, no! Don't film me yet! Stop! Hello, me. Oh, you gotta relax. You look like a weather girl who stuffed her umbrella up her ass. Hello, me. Happy May 19th! <sighs> Admittedly, this is not the May 19th that I was dreaming of. I am sitting in Central Park, social distancing with my very best friend, who I adore. But I thought on this day, May 19th, I was gonna be proposing to the love of my life, Mickey and this pandemic had other plans. And so did Mickey. I have been quarantined for 63 days. And I have been single for 55 of them. And I have been planning this proposal for 124 days before that. So no matter what, the proposal wins. Every theater in this town might be shut down, but the show goes on for this proposal. So we begin here at the visitor center, where I would have tricked you into coming here with an elaborate ruse, saying, oh, 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 I've been mocked. And then you would run and find me and say, what's been stolen? And I would say, my heart. <laughs> and then all of my coworkers would come running out from everywhere with these big confetti cannons that were shooting confetti heart everywhere. And if they hadn't been deemed unessential delivery by Amazon, I would have those suckers firing right now. So, this is where my cousins from Albuquerque were going to throw the rest of at us. You know, because of the Tony the Tiger t-shirt that you left at the apartment after the gym. I burned that shirt last week. Surprisingly not. Great! Oh, do pigeons eat cereal? Is that okay? Then we would have come here. To the zoo <laughs> and the ice cream man would have made us these little artisan ice cream pops that were made like polar bears because that first summer we were dating you always used to ask me to meet you here in front of the polar bear what haven't those polar bears been dead for like uh seven years oh have you been with him for seven years i i guess i lost track <laughs> Those polar bears were adorable though. Cute couple. Let's go. Oh, okay. And this, this is where the choreographed dance number was gonna be. Because remember when on that fateful day I met you in Union Square, I was walking down the subway steps and I fell and you caught me, but then my earbuds fell out. And when that happened, the song I was listening to just started blaring. <laughs> And you were like, is that for delicious? Yeah. And then we both just started like bouncing to the beat, you know? So imagine this with the entire boys choir of Hoboken right behind me doing every single move I'm doing. God, it those little monsters are so bored at home right now. Wishing that we're in rehearsal with the crazy lady. Uh, are you sure you don't want me to play the uh, song? You know, you don't need licensing rights for a private video. No, I don't want Fergalicious to be, uh, what's the word? Litigious? Yeah. And they be lining down the block just to watch what I got. Uh. Now, our dance party would have brought us here. <sighs> And I would have come right here and would have gotten down on one knee and I would, 
I would say all the things that a person should say. Like, Nikki, you saved me in every way that a person can be saved. You weren't actually going to quote Titanic to him, were you? I mean, do you know, ironically, I don't even have a picture of him. He exists only in my memory. Honey. So, um, what I want to say now is uh, something else. I want to say that I understand, Nikki. I understand that you couldn't go through with divorcing your wife. And I respect that quarantine brought you and Annette back together in a way that, that you never thought possible. And it forced you to examine why you came looking for me in the first place. And I never, ever wanted to be an adulteress, although I was a good one. I hope in some small way you remember me as the catalyst that brought you back to your wife. To what you think you want. No. To what you want. Dr. Mason says that should take what people say as facts, not some text. Your wife is what you want. And um, when we talked about marriage, I was, I took that very seriously. And I hope that this proves that to you. Especially because the boys' choir won't give me my deposit back still waiting for my charitable donation letter. I, I just hope that when I watch back this video, it shows me that I, I do not need to be afraid to open my heart back up to love again. Just not with you. Because if you couldn't stand by me during this pandemic, then you don't deserve to screw me after. So I am gonna imagine your beautiful five-bedroom house in Rybrook on a celestial plane where you have disappeared, never to be seen again. And if nothing else, I am going to do a better job of loving myself in the future because of you. I bought this for you. And I propose to myself. And I say yes. <laughs> Ooh, well that got a little maudlin, huh? Oh, you gotta let it all out. Uh, I, I'm just gonna take a minute. Uh, just remember, don't put the ring into the lake. <laughs> you are not Gloria Stewart, and the ring's not insured. Fine. Okay, as you can see, my friend is a total rock star. And even though I promised I wouldn't send this to Mickey, that doesn't mean I can't send it to you, Annette. And even though he has halted the divorce, that doesn't mean that this isn't magnificent evidence for you to reignite it. Coco? Oh, I'm just checking playback. So, on behalf of all of the quarantined somebodies out there who got jilted, abandoned, ghosted, or otherwise romantically evicted because some slippery coward like Mickey decided to use a freaking global health crisis as their excuse to peace out, well, I say to you, bankrupt his ass. Hey, do I look like a total idiot? Oh, no, you look human, perfectly human.